I'm going on an unexpected thrift journey. That was a really bad Bilbo Baggins impression. Hey y'all, it's me Anx. Today I have a thrift haul for you. This was kind of an unexpected thrift haul that I didn't know I was going to be doing, hence that's why it's called unexpected. So yesterday Case and I went thrifting because they wanted to find some cute summer clothes and I was kind of thinking like, okay, you know, if I see anything here that I like or you know, that fits me. You know what? I'll see. I'll see what I can find. Not really expecting to find anything though. And then the thrift gods smiled upon me. I am their favored one. <laughs> Everything that I tried on fit me and looked really good on me. And I found actually, I found this gorgeous leather -y jacket that I'm really excited about because I love leather jackets, but right now I don't have any that fit me. So I'm really excited about that. And anyway, I'm going to get started. That's going to be my first thing that I show y'all. This is what it looks like. It's just gorgeous and first of all before we get into any of the actual details that people will be able to see when I wear it, I love this lining. It is so gorgeous. Look at this like paisley. Like I want some sort of item that has like that as also like the main fabric instead of just the lining. I think that's gorgeous. They were kind of having a sale at the thrift store that we go to. If you're ever wondering it's Market Street Mission in Morristown and they have some of the best thrift finds I've ever come across. A lot of my favorite items of clothing that I've gotten from thrift stores came from there. They had like a bunch of like leather jacket items that they were trying to get rid of because they had so many. So all of their leather jackets were $5. I don't know if this is real or fake leather, but it actually feels pretty real. And I've never owned leather. I never buy leather new, but I am fully okay with buying it secondhand. I'm gonna put this on just so you can kind of see what it looks like. This is what it looks like on you can kind of see um it fits me really well um i can zip it up i'm not going to because i'm going to take this off as soon as i'm finished talking about it i love this neckline i think it's really pretty i just really love the details on that and it fits really comfortably it's not one of those leather jackets that feels really tight it's like fitted but it's not uncomfortable or tight and i really like that and so this is just gonna be a staple in my wardrobe and i'm so excited next i found these gorgeous gloria vanderbilt jeans this is their amanda jeans and i've been trying to find a pair of jeans like this because i had a pair of pants in this color from target but i think i finally need to resign myself to the fact that they don't fit anymore and they're never gonna fit again so maybe I should find something else that I like that are in a similar style and color. So I got these. I love Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. I always look for them whenever I go thrifting. I think they're just gorgeous and they always fit me really well. They are really comfortable. They make really good mom jeans. I wish I had more skinny jeans, but you know, I can find another brand for that that I like. So they're really pretty and they're soft and they're comfortable and they're just in this gorgeous eggplant color. And I love them. Okay, so I found this Forever 21 dress that I was like, I was like, I'm gonna try this on. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did because I really love this print. I love this style of dress. It's just really not something that I would ever wear. I'm gonna button the front up so you can kind of properly see it. I love florals, but I also feel like it's one of those things that I really enjoy, but I never know if it kind of fits in with the rest of my look, you know, with the hair and the piercing and the bright colored makeup. I think that this one turned out looking really good. It really does accentuate my curves without it like being skin tight because kind of like as I get older and as my back hurts more, I kind of hate skin tight clothing. It's just not a pleasant time for me even if it looks good. So this isn't really skin tight. It's like nice and loose and flowy. It's in this gorgeous print that is just like the little daisies on this navy. I love the fact that the background is a darker color. As much as I love light colors, I don't feel like they look very good on me. So I prefer everything to kind of have a darker base to it. It has these gorgeous little like puffy-ish sleeves, which you can kind of see, and it nips in at the waist and it has a button up top, but it's not like button up all the way down. So you don't have to do all of that effort, which I appreciate. So I love this one. I just love everything. And this one is a story. So I had gone in there a couple weeks ago, uh, just kind of looking for stuff. And I found this really cute, like purple shirt that had like music notes all over it. It was just like this cute little button up shirt. And it looked very like 80s, 90s or something. But that day they only took cash because their credit card machine was down. So it's like, oh, I didn't have any cash on me. So 
I've kind of resigned myself to not being able to get it. But lo and behold, two weeks later, here I have it. It is super cute. It's just a short sleeve button down. If you know me, you know I love short sleeve button down shirts. It does have shoulder pads in it. Might cut those out. I don't know. It's in this really cute music note print, which you can kind of see here. It's very subtle, but I love this color too because it's so bright and vibrant that I think it just works really well. I ran out of shot on my camera, but I was just basically saying that this is going to be a really fun shirt for me to wear during the summer. And it's really loose and oversized and really comfortable. And it kind of gives you that put together, like I thought about my outfit kind of look without actually having to think about your outfit, which I love. I am high maintenance, but like low effort. So it's really cute. And I found these earrings for a dollar. They are adorable. I know that my camera won't focus on them, but there are these little hearts that say hug me. While I'm not like super into like strangers hugging me, I do like hugs, like consent, you know, but I thought they were really adorable and they're only a dollar. And y'all know I love like cute and interesting earrings. So these are a pair of that. And lastly, I found this beautiful vase here for $4. Right now my home decor situation is like, how many skulls can I put around my room? So I'm kind of trying to switch it up. So I really wanted to find something like this. I can also talk into it and sound like this. Ooh. This is a kind of quality content that you definitely come to Alex the Alchemist for. But I think this is really pretty. I love these colors. I love the yellow and the black combination. I just love that as a color combo in general. So this is what it looks like. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. I think if I find like some really pretty like black flowers that would look like gorgeous in it, like just some fake ones from Michaels or something. So this is really pretty and I'm going to need to like clean and redecorate my room a little bit so that I can make this kind of go in with it. But yeah, I love it. And that is it for this thrift haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you on my next one. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.